Okay, I'm going to start a section on logistic regression, and logistic regression is about classification. So you have individuals, and you have some data, and based on the data, you want to put those individuals in one category or another, or you could have three or four categories or more. In this case, um, my example, I have two. So uh, here it is in the abstract. So the individuals are these points, and they have two characteristics. One is a number. Each one has a number associated with it. So for instance, this point right here, the number associated with it is a little bit more than 9. So I'm using the number of each point to put it on this axis here. And then the other characteristic is a color. So some are red and some are blue. So this is abstract, but <clears throat> uh, the points could, or the individuals could represent patients. And maybe the numerical characteristic would be the result of uh, some test. And the, the red individuals could be those that are sick, and the blue, those that are not sick. Okay? And uh, before I go any further, you can just click the new points here um, to get you know whatever if you want to work with a new set of points you can all right so it seems pretty clear that for the most part the red points are shifted towards the left here and the blue points are shifted towards the right but there is a an area here of overlap uh, you can drag these up so that you can see that a little bit more clearly. So you do have that area of overlap, and that's going to be the problem. Because what you want to do now is you want to look at an individual. And the data that you have on that individual is the number. But you don't know the other characteristic. Do they belong in the red category or the blue category? So I could drop a point here. So I know that numerically, that's where that point belongs. But is it a red point or is it a blue point? So this one, I mean, I would probably guess red, but it's pretty close to this area of overlap, so I'm not completely confident. So if you click, okay, see, I was wrong. That was a good first example. So I made a mistake with that one. It's pretty much the same area there. And that one is red. Okay. Let's drop a few more. Okay. So I would probably guess blue, but once again, I'm not very confident. All right. Let me keep dropping here until I get one where... All right. So that one, I'm pretty confident that this is going to be red. But not entirely sure. So that's the problem. You, you want to place these points in a category. And the data you have is where these points are along this axis. If the point is over here, you feel pretty confident that it's red. If the point is over here, you feel pretty confident that it's blue. But if it's in here, you're, you're really not sure. And the, uh, the decision could be a really important one if, if you're deciding whether or not someone has a particular disease, let's say. That's a very important decision, and you, you really want to try not to be wrong with that. So logistic regression is about handling this problem. You know, what can we do? Can we, can we do something to minimize particular types of errors and so forth? So we'll get into that in future visualizations.